Health Minister Jack Snelling has guaranteed the future of the Modbury Hospital amid fears it could be closed by attrition. Locals and senior clinicians believe the downgrade of the emergency department could make the hospital unviable, a claim strongly rejected by the government. Under the reforms, Modbury Hospital's emergency department will no longer treat serious cases, a move clinicians and locals fear could be the beginning of the end. We seem to be treating the Modbury Hospital with a process of attrition to remove the community services. We're very concerned that this may well be the, the first step towards close, closing the Modbury. Obstetric and paediatric services have already shifted elsewhere, raising fears the hospital could face death by a thousand cuts. They're slowly becoming surgeons themselves and doing operations on the hospital. Everybody knows about the chipping away of services in the North East here. But the Health Minister was today quick to reassure locals. Oh, of course I can guarantee that the Mowbray Hospital will remain open for many, many years to come. But the opposition warns the same promise was once made about the repat. Clinicians say the move is made even more staggering by the fact the capacity of the emergency department has recently doubled under a $17 million upgrade. I can't see that that was a warranted expense. Another claim denied by the government. We're talking about removing less than half a percent of the patients that currently go to Modbury. So there's, a, there's an absolute need to maintain that emergency department. Tea Tree Gully Council flooded with hundreds of calls since the reforms were announced wants the Health Minister to face a community forum. Everybody get up and make a noise. We need to save our EDs. Alice Monfries, Nine News.